instant first impression is I basically feel like I'm fasting. It's like my first solid meal was lunch rather than dinner because by the time lunch rolled around I was like, I can't do this. I'm a little bit too hungry and I was starting to feel sick so I was, and I ended up eating pasta. So I don't think this is going to end up being a good one for me just because I'm gonna end up eating really bad meals when I do get to have a meal because the drinks are so unsatisfying. Today I had Orgain organic protein powder. Mix that with almond milk and some ice and I had some cherries in the fridge so I put some of those in for flavoring. And it, you know, I'm low energy and I didn't really like it. I know that it's gonna be difficult to have any sort of thing at work because I would have to make it and then just have it in a, you know, tumbler all day. So it wouldn't be good for either a shake or, I'm not really juicing. I don't feel like it's easy. Nate said he would do that, so I'm going to let Nate do that portion and I'm going to stick with protein because I think it's slightly more filling, but for days when I'm at work, I got two different things. I got these breakfast essentials, which as you can tell is very tiny, it's eight ounces, and then I got pure protein. So I'm going to do the body weight exercises. The way I plan this is I'm an app heavy person. So I'm going to use the Be Stronger app. It basically just is a plan where you do, so it's push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and burpees. Um, the push-up program I'm doing has me at nine, 11, 8, 8, and 11 for a total of 47 this first day. The sit-ups has me at 12, technically with 6 and 8, but I combined it because I wanted to have the same amount of, of sets for all of them, so that was supposed to be 6 and I wanted it to be 5. So that's 12, 8, 7, 7, and 9. The burpees, had, and that was for a total of 43. The burpees are at 10, 10, 8, 12 for a total of 50. The squats are at 8, 8, 6, 8, and 10 for a total of 40. And if I have time after that, if that only takes me a less than a half hour or something, I'll do the 7 app, which is 7 minutes a day, once again, of body weight stuff. But I think that one might have more cardio or... I think it changes every day. But it's body weight, so I'm counting it. And today is explosive because... It's an app where you get like a free seven minute workout every day or you can pay and have like the whole library. So I'm doing all that for my workout. I won't bother recording it because I'd have to get my camera. Oh, not recording it, not recording it. Juicing is definitely not working for me. I um, I've been cheating a lot and I know it's like are you really trying? And I'm like, I, I'm trying, but it's not worth feeling dizzy or exhausted. So there are times where, like, I'm not bringing snacks. I'm not buying snacks. The guy next to me at work offers me a snack. I'm gonna be like, yes. Oh my god, yes, please. I want to bite someone's head off. It's been a very stressful week at work, so that doesn't help because you're already stressed out. You don't need to be hangry. And I continue to feel like by the time I do get a real meal, I feel like I have to make it count. Which makes me feel like even if I'm eating less, because I'm only drinking things, if I'm eating a thousand calories at once because I'm so hungry if you're really 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 strict it probably could work as a jump start but I just don't see how it's healthy 
or sustainable. And it's, it's just making me miserable. The workouts, the program says I don't have to do push-ups because it's like shouldn't be working the same muscles every day type thing. It actually only recommends that I do sit-ups because your abs, I guess, can be worked out every day. But the squats didn't really tire my legs out at all, so I'm probably going to do those. I'm going to do the 7, which is a sports flex today. I might do something like tricep dips or lunges. So... I'm going to have to vary the types of body weight exercises I do. I'm definitely feeling the push-ups. Like I said, I'm not very good at them. So I'm a little relieved that it's telling me to take a break because I can definitely feel it like in here and then like along my back. So I can use this day to recover. Oh baby, it's just my berber. Gain 10 pounds every time I hold her. Um, I didn't really check in very much this week because it felt overall not positive. The liquid diet made me hungry every single day, sometimes to the point where I'd feel dizzy or even nauseous, and then I would cheat on it and eat food, and overall all week I've weighed more than what I started on week one and I don't know if it's because of water weight because all I'm doing is drinking but also I've been doing decently on my workout so I have found in the past that when I'm sore I hold water weight and it usually drops off like a week or so later so I'm not gonna say that the diet has entirely ruined my progress but it's it's not like I felt like I was really successful in combination with the exercise so it's just like well this week was a bust hopefully next week is better and it just hasn't been that fun to talk about when you're really grumpy and to the point of taking it out on other people and sometimes cats you know sometimes Sometimes you take it out on your cat. Sometimes you're like, you need to go on a liquid diet too, fatty. But I shouldn't be fat shaming my kitty. No, no, no. You're a pretty cat. Tell them you're a pretty cat. Yes, 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 yes. Do, 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 do.